Their stories of survival inside this steel plant are harrowing. There were 40 of us, this woman says. We boiled two buckets of soup, and that was our meal for the whole day. She's now made it out of the city, one of the roughly 100 civilians evacuated from the rubble of Mariupol's steel plant. All the time we were in the bunker, they were bombing, Olga Savina says. New satellite images show the plant, like most of the city, almost completely destroyed by Russian forces. The last Ukrainian soldiers holed up in the plant say more civilians are still trapped here. It's around 20 children, we counted, and hundreds more adults, he says. But tonight it's still not clear where the evacuees, escorted by the UN and Red Cross staff, will end up. Russia says they were taken to Russian-controlled territory and that those who want to leave can't. Ukraine's President Zelensky tonight says he warned the UN. The agreement with Russia is that these people can come to Ukrainian-controlled territory. Let's hope so, he says. Meanwhile, Russian forces say they hit nearly 800 targets in Ukraine in 24 hours, including shipments of Western military aid. The shelling in Kharkiv, relentless, Valentina, a medic in the city, told me. We have safety. You don't have safety. Yeah, you may die at the next minute. <laughs> and it's, it's our life now. Though tonight, a senior U.S. military official describes the Russian progress in the eastern Donbass region as minimal. And tonight, Russia is facing outrage from Israel, the country demanding an apology after the Russian foreign minister appeared on Italian television saying Hitler was part Jewish. The Israeli foreign minister calling the comments unforgivable, scandalous, and a terrible historical error. Kelly joins us again from eastern Ukraine. Kelly, now there's word that Europe might be willing to stop buying Russian oil, which has been a huge economic lifeline for President Putin. Yes, diplomats tell NBC News that an oil embargo could be announced as early as this week after Germany reversed its opposition. But importantly, Lester, that would not include a ban on Russian gas.